CJ is an R&B artist and producer who discovered a passion for music at a young age, honing skills in beat making and choral singing throughout high school before gaining the confidence to pursue a musical career after graduation. And CJ is with us here. How are you today? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm excellent, thanks. Now, you were drawn into R&B music at a young age. So what was it about the genre that captivated you? I don't know. It's just how it made me feel when I was younger because I used to just sing it a lot in my mom's car. And it's just how the instruments and how it goes and how the artist's voice flows on the beat. It just made me feel alive, I suppose. And what was it that prompted you to make some music of your own as opposed to just listening to it and appreciating it, you know, as a listener? I watched a lot of music musical artists music videos like michael jackson chris brown jason derulo and etc and i was like man is that that built me the confidence to at least make music of my own so that's why i discovered a passion of doing music by watching others do it as well i was like okay i want to do what they're doing and hopefully make it big someday like them and how do you think your early experiences with r&b shaped your musical tastes and style well it's just at first like r R&B wasn't my main focus at first. It was like more of hip hop and everything. But now I see I had to try. I had trials and errors. Like, okay, let me sing on this beat or this type of beat. But I realized early 2000s R&B is what I can flow on better and I sound great in. And I was like, I think R&B is the best category of music that I should be in. And you started to make beats in high school. So what was the transition like from singing to producing? Again, back then I was confident in my voice so I thought just being a producer would be um, a better fit for me so I took a music of industry industry of music class in sophomore year and I remember his name is Mr. Love and he taught us how to make um, um, a beat from We Belong Together by Mariah Carey so yeah and I started like okay and you thought it would be a better fit for you and did that yeah. turn out to be true? <laughs> no <laughs> All right. <laughs> Not at all. And why not? Because I was in a choir as well back then, and I realized singing is my most passion. Producing, I understand the element and the factor in how um, the song is supposed to be the layout of the song. There's a verse or intro, pre-chorus, chorus, whatever. I know the I know the fundamentals of music. I just don't think I am the type of guy to be capable of making the beats and etc. And what was the kind of turning point that made you decide to dive deeper into to music production when i went when i came back with my friends um we kind of kind of um made up they're not like people that i'd be with in person they live in different states and so we decided to do music again and that brought me to start doing music all over again and actually put my voice on beats and everything you mentioned the kind of course you did in your sophomore year were there any specific Mm -hmm. skills or knowledge that you gained from that course that you still use today again the laid out i always want to have structure in my music so when I was making beats I always had an intro or I had a verse that comes in straight in or just an intro the intro plays like the piano plays and the strings come in and I just have this thing in my mind where it's like any artist is going to be future with me you're going to have to come in this time x y z to make it sound more better (laughs) that's what I took from making beats is being more structured or being more organized with what you make and how did your music making process evolve throughout high school and I suppose to where you are today? Again, it's just it evolved because I put in the time and confidence now. And at first I thought my voice was not it at all. No. And so now I put out at least three songs and my new single out right now is doing phenomenal and I'm even shocked. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm just I'm just very humble. I'm staying humble. I'm staying I'm proud of myself because even though it's just a small milestone for everybody, for me, I'm proud of myself. Are there any particular ways that your music has evolved for the better? In some cases, but it's gonna at least stay the same for now. But I do wanna evolve eventually. And what advice would you give to young artists who are starting out? on their own musical journey. Know your facts, research, take the time, and it costs money. (laughs) It costs money. (laughs) Take the time, money, have confidence, and you'll soon get to what your dream is. Don't let nobody bring you down. Don't let nobody ever discourage you. Always stay focused on what you're trying to be in life. And once you have that passion and that drive, you'll make it. And is there something that you wish you'd known when you first started out making music? (laughs) A lot. Money. (laughs) 
um, research about the business wise of music because I did take business courses in junior year and I didn't know a lot about business. So learn about my business. Um, don't be like me waiting to the last minute to figure out certain things. <laughs> Um, but yeah, make sure you know your stuff before you get into what you're trying to do. Are there any kind of recent projects or collaborations that you've worked on that you're particularly excited about? I got one song I'm working on called Another Side of Love with one of my old good friends from freshman year. And she said she's working on it today. And I, my, and I got my other boy going to be on it for the verse. So I'm pretty excited about that. Are there anything that we can look forward to in terms of upcoming projects other than that one, of course? All I got to say is to everyone one is I will always put my time into music so don't expect less from anything that I do if it doesn't sound right to me I'm not going to even put it out there until it sounds right so y'all don't got to worry about no bad music coming from me yes <laughs> Well, <laughs> where are we able to find all your music and keep up to date with you everywhere? My Instagram, I do post daily progress. I do post some snippets of that. Snapchat as well and TikTok, those three social media platforms. Great. Well, many thanks for talking to us today. It's been great having you here. Same to you, man.